Ali says, I'm residing in Australia and here Muslim run meat shops. They sell meat slaughtered by machines with Bismillah played in the background. Is it considered halal? Now, first of all, as Muslims, we are very critical when it comes to the meat that we consume. You see, all other types of food are halal. We have no problems with it. So vegetables, fruits, seafood is all halal for us. The problem is when it comes to animals or birds. And we know that Muslims don't eat pork. And this is by default. They don't eat donkeys, domestic donkeys. They do not eat wild animals that are predators, such as lions, tigers, leopards. Um, they don't eat birds that also are predators like hawks, uh, larks, uh, eagles, etc. <clears throat> they don't eat cats because cats is unlawful to eat. So what do they eat? They eat livestock such as camels, cows, sheep, buffaloes, goats. They eat game when they hunt it, such as zebras, giraffes, uh, deers, all of uh, rabbits, all other animals that are lawful to be consumed, providing that they first mention the name of Allah. So if a person slaughters without mentioning the name of Allah, this is not considered to be halal for him. Though there is another opinion in this issue that states that if a person forgets, then it is halal. And it's an issue of dispute. Secondly, it has to be killed in the proper manner. If it is caught, it has to be slaughtered. And if it is a game, a prey, it has to be hunted. Whether it is gunned down or it is killed with an arrow, with something that penetrates, not bangs on the head, it has to penetrate. Or by training animals or birds to hunt for you and not to eat and consume from it. But this is again a whole long different topic. Thirdly, the person who is either slaughtering or hunting has to be one of three, a Muslim, a Jew, or a Christian. Other than the, these three faiths, any person who slaughters or kills an animal we cannot consume it, and it's considered to be dead meat. So if you, generally speaking, understand these conditions, you would understand that Muslims who slaughter and mention the name of Allah and the animal is halal, then this is halal for us to eat. A Muslim who says Bismillah and slaughters a dog, this is haram. A Muslim who bangs a sheep on the head or electrifies it or suffocates it until it dies. This is haram. It has to be slaughtered and he has to mention the name of Allah saying Bismillah. And if he adds Allahu Akbar, then this is an added value. Now, the question that Ali mentions is about a slaughterhouse. Nowadays, people are trying to make money as much as possible. So slaughtering by hand consumes a lot of time. Time equals less money. Less time, 
more money. So they've come up with these automated slaughtering machines. It's like an assembly line where they put the animals or the birds and the knife just works automatically and chops the head off and then it's to be processed later on. So what's the ruling on that? The ruling is simple. If, let's assume, the assembly line has 100 slots where they insert the chicken. So with a press of my button, 100 knives executes the mission and it slaughters the chicken at the same time. If I say, Bismillah, and I press the button, the 100 chicken are halal to be consumed. Because I'm a Muslim, I said Bismillah, and I slaughtered. But if I come at the beginning of the day, at 9 o'clock, and, this is 9 o'clock a.m., and I say, in the beginning, Bismillah, and I push the button, and I start reading the magazine, and the machine automatically slaughters and inserts others and slaughters and inserts others, uh, animals, etc., and processes it uh, um, automatically, this is haram. Why? You said Bismillah. Yes, it's true. I said Bismillah. But I said it on a particular incident. What comes afterwards, I have not said Bismillah while slaughtering it. The machine was slaughtering it. So this is considered to be dead meat. And this is quite crucial to understand and to investigate. But it, do I have to go to slaughterhouses and investigate that they are following this procedure? The answer is no. As long as I'm in a Muslim country or in a Christian country and they tell me that we slaughter, and we mention the name of Allah. I don't have any other information to prove otherwise. In this case, there's no problem uh, uh, for me to eat from it. But because the default is all the meat that are slaughtered by Muslims or that are slaughtered by Christians or in a Christian country, that it is halal until proven otherwise. And we spoke about this so many times before and Allah Azza wa knows best.